So it's been a bit of a hike, but we're here. We're taking a look at uh, a fault along a creek and uh, hoping something's been exposed through the winter months when it has been raining. So the creek's completely dry now. I'd say this creek here sees flow for about two months out of the year and then it just completely dries up. But you can see the kind of rocks with the heavy oxidation these are all in the creek. Most of this is schistose rock here. You have some granite because there is a contact outside the creek where you have granitic rocks um, for a little portion. And uh, this is what the, the rocks look like in the creek. Like you can see, it's just loaded with mineralization. This is all little specks of calcopyrite up there. Another little speck there, and the rest is a mix of pyrite and arsinopyrite. So that just came off this boulder here, which is obviously heavily mineralized. This is the orientation of your bedrock, it goes outside the creek slightly. So you do find stuff sporadically over here, but you can see this little area here. Kind of a void that used to be full of iron sulfides which are now washed away and leaving you with just deteriorated schists you can see right there some black iron sulfides lots of barren quartz here too Typical chip off bedrock here, mostly iron pyrite, a little bit of calcopyrite in there. And then you have right here, some sphalerite. And that's your typical bedrock. Here's a sample. On the top right up in here, that's all sphalerite. Up in there, there's some sphalerite as well. So we have a pretty large structure here. You can see the starts of it right here before it dives underneath all this cover. And this goes all the way up to where Justin number two is and about 10 meters past that underneath the logs before it's not exposed anymore. But this is showing some really nice mineralization Again, you have more arsinopyrite and iron pyrite. Over here, from right here, these are some of those samples. Pyrite mostly, minor calcopyrite. And it looks like it's gonna have a little bit of zinc values as well. And we're finding samples all over this. This whole schistose body is, is basically schist mixed with quartz and uh, mineralization. So pretty large structure here and no doubt this continues farther as does the fault. From down there, definitely comes up and continues this way. Take a look at this. Same mineralization, same exposure, different area. This is definitely hosting a large deposit. As you go deeper, mineralization gets a lot more consistent too. That's it guys. That was a nice walk up, a nice little creek. We found a lot, we found um, a pretty large deposit and we think it's gonna turn into something bigger. So, 
who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys next time.